Mackenzie Pavisic here in Perth, joined by interim featherweight champion Yair Rodriguez. First, I wanted to congratulate you and also let you know you are now $50,000 richer. You've been awarded no a performance <laughs> of the night. So pretty nice way to cap off the uh, the evening on top of some gold. Yes. How are you feeling though overall after your performance? Well, now I'm, I'm even more happy now. You know, I didn't, I didn't realize that. I wasn't even putting attention to it. Um, I'm super happy to have this right now in, in my shoulder, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity to, to help all my family and, and accomplish a couple of things that I have been thinking of for the last years. And, uh, you know, it, it really means a lot. It means a lot for me. <laughs> you, you have no idea uh, what it means for my people uh, back home watching this. They're probably crying. They're probably super pumped, enjoying, screaming and jumping around. And uh, those are the moments that I, uh, whenever you ask me all the sacrifices, I wish I could be in, t in those both places, you know, here fighting for them and there and enjoying for them because uh, a lot of people couldn't come here, but you know, very important people for me is here, my friends, my family, my coaches, my team, and uh, I can be more happy than this right now. This is an accomplishment that you've said is like 10-ish years in the making, a very long time to be persisting toward just one goal, but how much more special is it that your family is here? You got to have that beautiful moment with your mom before you entered the octagon. <laughs> yeah, so um, I was walking with my brother and my dad uh, actually yesterday, uh, like in the river. It's, it's, it's the river, right? I think it's, um, mm -hmm. I don't remember the name, what, what's called. Uh, but I was walking uh, down the river, we were watching some dolphins and uh, all the, the beautiful birds. And uh, I was, I was telling to myself, I was thinking, I already win. I already win by being here. I already win by being able to bring my family here. I already win by, by having my people, my my team, with me here in this beautiful country. You know, like you probably is more usual for you guys. You know, for us, it's the first time that we we're able to travel this far, um, ever. You know, it's uh, it, it was a dream of mine to to have my family travel that, those far distances to get to know uh, other parts of the world. And right now, you know, two of those dreams, dreams came true. One is, is traveling basically across the world, you know, to this beautiful country, which has been one of my dreams since I was a, a kid. And now accomplishing that, this other dream, which was being uh, the UFC world champion, means a lot, you know, it means, I, it's on the, I don't know how to explain in the words how much it means to me. I want you to be able to enjoy this moment as the interim champion, but you did just sit and watch Alexander Volkanovsky mm -hmm. and through the entire fight with Islam, was there anything going through your mind as far as what you were watching him do and thinking about, okay, like I, I'm fighting him next? He looked impressive. He looked impressive. I didn't, I didn't watch uh, the whole fight, but I watched parts of the fight and he looked impressive. Uh, he did a great job uh, defending all the submissions. He was able to turn around the fight in a couple of situations. And I don't know, you know, the fight could have gone either way. I will have to really take a look at um, what it really happened, truly happened during the fight. But I was just able to see moments of the fight, so I don't really know what happened. But, you know, for now, I mean, like you say, I'm just enjoying this moment and we'll see, we'll see what's next. You know, I don't really think there is any rush on deciding, you know, he, he yeah, probably he has stuff and things to, to think and do and um, me as well. So for now, I'm happy to have my family here. And I was watching one of the pictures in there in the octagon with my family with the hats and stuff. That's something that really represents us as a family and being from the north of my country. And uh, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. You also had a really, really impressive performance. The third ever triangle choke submission in a championship bout, if I'm not mistaken. Can you walk me through the finish? Yeah. Uh, so I don't remember how I really landed into the floor in the second round. Um, flying knee. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I tried flying knee. And then he was able to push. He was That, that always happens to me. I need to uh, make some adjustments. Uh, I went to the floor. And then when I was in the floor, I was able to connect pretty good elbows. That's why I'm like, I'm all inflamed, you know. And uh, I was able, to, I, I was practicing actually on that. Like if you see the film right before my fight, I was practicing on that. And uh, you know, I was able to connect the triangle. I was able to adjust to make yeah, the 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 little adjustment to get, to got me to finish the triangle, you know. And uh, there's 
not much science behind a triangle or an amber or anything like that you know it's just the situation that then sometimes you are into and who who are you able to um adjust to that situation and take advantage of it and that's it everybody knows how to do triangles Ambars, flying ambars, all kinds of submissions, you know, it's up to the situation and how you're able to adjust in that moment. And I did pretty well, I guess, you know, I got the submission, submission win, and uh, I turned the fight around. Like, in the first round, he connected me pretty hard, you know, I was almost out in the first round, and um, being able to come back from that, it just gave me a lot of proud. You are the interim featherweight champion. Congratulations once Thank again. Uh, what is the one thing, though, that you hope anyone watching tonight may have learned from you? Wow, that's a really good question. Learn from me, um, just learn from my mistakes. <laughs> learn from the mistakes I have been doing in, uh, in, the, in my career, you know, ups and downs. Learn, for, learn from that for you to don't do that. So don't do that. And uh, the things that you're good at, just keep on working on that. The things that you're not good at, just keep on learning, keep on advancing. Don't, don't do the mistakes other people do. Learn like that, learn that way and uh you're a savvy if you can do that you know and uh i've been able to uh, to do a lot of mistakes in in my in my career you know but uh i'm here fighting to get better in every single aspect of my life not only on fighting but in my personal life uh, as an as in a spiritual person and uh you know it's just uh it's this there are these different elements to this game you know and uh, i'm just trying to get better and better every every day that i can and just just fighting myself basically every day. Mm -hmm. Well, now you get to get better as champion. So congratulations, <laughs> we will let you Thank get you. back to your family. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you.